friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely week. It's Sunday and Sundays here are for me grocery days. It's a bit of meal prepping days and all that stuff. I make keto related videos. I'm currently doing a bit of a carnivore. I'm just finishing my third week of carnivore to see how that helped me on the scales. And I'm going to do another fourth week of it. Just, just give it another week to see how I feel on it. Um, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the prep and things that I'm going to be doing for next week and what I'll be eating this week as well. So if that's the kind of stuff you like, press the subscribe button for me and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I hope you do. Um, I've also got a little bit of footage. I did a little decorating of my kitchen um, made it look a little bit better. I hope so. I'll share that with you guys. If you're interested, hopefully you are. I know a lot of you guys are. Today is Sunday. I was kind of thinking about um, going to the gym this morning. I haven't got a great deal of prep to do, but I actually had about three or four hours sleep. I just really struggled. And I've woken up today with my allergies are really bad. My face is like a puff ball. Um, so I'm not feeling it today. So I'm going to go in the garden and show, do some gardening and things. Let me show you what I've eaten this week, show you the groceries we've got, and then I'll also show you guys what I'm cooking for next week's prep. And it's Tuesday, and I forgot to show you what I had yesterday. It was just wings, wings from Sunday's meal prep, and these are Sunday's leftovers. I completely forgot. The house is in disarray because we've got decorated lady in, and I forgot about these, and I've had them in the fridge. So I'm going to have these. These are just two pork steaks with um, some like peri peri seasoning on there and some uh, sort of spices on there. But yeah, just two of those guys. This is our kitchen before. We tidied it up, emptied it all out, ready for the lady to come in and decorate. Well, I just shared this to my Instagram. We had our decorating lady come in and she did our kitchen, stripped the walls and painted them this like teal color, and did all the woodwork and things. So uh, I was panicking at first, but it has grown on me. I want to paint the doors white. I think that would look really cool. And we're going to get a white blind in here to give it a little thing. And now I need to put our kitchen back together again. Well, friends, it is Wednesday night and uh, we've had a decorate lady in today. I'll show you the before and after footage. I'm slowly putting my kitchen back together. Um, but I'm going to go out now to Aldi TK Maxx because I want to get a new recycling bin um, and look at the yellow stickers. I've been getting some really good yellow stickers lately. One of the things I wanted to say was, I do want to check in, weigh in most mornings just to see how I'm doing if I'm on track. And I've noticed that it's, it's Wednesday now. I've not really had any movement on the scale since, I'd probably say, Saturday. And one thing I've noticed, I've been eating a lot of cheese. Now, a lot of people on Carnivore do not eat hard cheese, I think it is. Yeah, hard cheese at all. Um, and I know a couple of my lady friends, Steph and Amy, have gone a keto dairy-free. That's a good result. So what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the week before weighing is cut back on the old cheese. Because I've been having it as my primary snack. Which is not ideal so i'm going to go we're going to go out tonight i'm also going, I'm going to aldi because i have got good recycling bin in there that i like the look of i'm also going to buy some more meaty snacks for the week rather than relying on cheesy snacks which is my preferred because i love cheese but i'm going to give cutting back on the cheese a go it's not the calories or the carbs it's i think it's just a case of dairy some people will find that dairy causes them to stall and this thing i've been aware of since i did atkins 20 years ago it's like a thing it's like cut back on the dairy it's a thing um, so I'm going to cut back this week. I still have cream in my coffee um, and maybe a little, little soft cheese. But I'm going to go cut back significantly on the hard cheese because I've been having so much this week. Because um, I've not been hungry. I've been having that to kind of get my calories up. So I'm going to cut back on the old cheese and get some more meaty snacks. And Aldi are the king and queen of Aldi like meaty snacks. They're really good. Uh, here is my little haul. I'm pretty happy with this, this lot. Uh, start with this. Got a few yellow stickers. I've got a spat chop poisson. A guinea chicken, I think. Um, never had one of this before, but 150. I'll try that guy. Um, I've got this for the kittens to try for their turkey mince. See how they feel about turkey mince. Got some peppers on sticker for Paul. He'll probably have for heaters in the next couple of days. Woo! Um, I've got some just meaty snacks to have. Meaty snacks, meaty snacks, meaty snacks. Full price. Got another one of these butter basic chickens. Got it cheaper before, but there weren't any there. Grabbed this guy from TK Maxx to get to the bottom of the jars. I do like when you get mayonnaise things like that. It bugs me. So that gets to the bottom of the jar. And the big one, Keto Cold Brew from Jordan's. I've never seen this before. I've seen TK Maxx. It was £10. It's eight servings, but for me that is way a lot. I have mine quite a week with um, almond milk and water and ice. This is probably more like 16, 12, 16 maybe. So I'm going to get probably more out of that. But doesn't that look nice? But for 100 grams... 
which I think is a portion, is a carb, but I won't be having quite a portion. I'll be having half of that. There is there is carbs in cold brew, um, regardless the way it is. So I'm gonna give that, that a try, that looks really good. And here is my dinner tonight. I'm just having three of my wings that I cooked on Sunday. Thanks, Mabel. And it is Thursday. I'm gonna to go to the gym tonight. I'm not really feel like it and it's gonna rain, but I've gotta go. So I just quickly made, well, quickly, I put it in the oven. This poisson that I got on, obviously, yellow sticker, um from yesterday um a spatchcock poisson excuse my pronunciation i did german at school not french couldn't talk um so i just roasted it in whatever herbs and spices it's um oh sea salt and pepper this is two portions so i should have i might, I might have half of it before i go and then half of it afterwards probably will do that because it's, it's quite a bit here but i'm gonna have some mermaids on the side um, and that's my tea it is friday i've just finished work paul and i are looking at dinner and um we got this for the cats to try um they really like the beef and they like the pork this they think is is awful and tastes like anus or something because they will not eat it they don't like it don't blame them i don't like turkey beans it's dry as crap um but i am going to cook it myself don't want to waste it so i've pulled out my little delivery of spice and thai spices see what i can make uh, and i think this Coriander chicken, of course, it is um, turkey, not chicken. It are, there is a recipe on the back, which I'm kind of going to ignore. But it does suggest garlic and ginger, which obviously is not carnivore or ketovore. But I think I'm going to push the boat out and have a, a couple of cloves of garlic and a little teaspoon of ginger. Just to give it a little flavour, along with some of the spices as well. All the spices I picked are less than two grams of carbs per portion. So they will add something to it. But um, all I've had today is my egg breakfast bake, uh, which I made on Sunday, and uh, a meat stick, I think. So I've not, I've, I've probably had like three carbs all day, four carbs all day. So I think I've got a little bit of a wiggle room in my allowance for a little ginger and a little bit of garlic. And here it is all cooked. There's quite a lot here. I'm not I'm going to finish all this guy, but it smells absolutely delicious and um, smells really like aromatic like a restaurant it's really nice and it's saturday night i forgot i got some wings i need to eat them so i'm gonna i've just had six i've not eaten today and it's six o'clock so um i'm gonna have six wings and some sour cream and a little drizzle of sriracha and it's grocery hauling time how are you doing it's sunday morning um and here is my grocery malarkey for the week this was actually quite an inexpensive one for us lately since the pandemic it's only 71 pounds and i bought quite a bit i think it's because we're not buying cat food and buying it separately it's probably what it is and the litter as well anywho i'll start off with the keto friendly end and move across so um i got these last week and i just really like them they're not the cheapest but they're really delicious so i'm gonna have some more of them i play for dinner tonight because they're really good I thought I ordered one, but they've said give me two, so maybe they're giving me free chicken. I don't know. Um, but I've got one of those guys, so I'm going to put one in the slow cooker in a minute, actually, I think. So I've got some dinners for the week. I've got some ham and some of these sort of salami things. I'm going to be making like a charcuterie board thing for the week with mixed meats. Um, so this guy will do it. I've got some in the fridge already and I haven't eaten them, so I might as well add more to it. Cream and sour cream. The old, old regular give me two diddy ones. Um, I kind of regret getting that. I've got too much cream on my hands at the moment. I've not been eating too much of it, which I think is causing a problem on the old scowl. But we'll talk about that Monday. Um, got some more eggs. I'll be boiling some eggs up today for my snacky plate thing. And obviously the onions are not keto, but that's pretty much it. And one almond milk because I've got some left over from last week. And that is pretty much my food for the week for keto and carnivore. Rest is Paul's, I'll quickly show you. Um, I tend to shop whatever's on offer and then put that in my basket that I know he's going to eat. Um, that my terrible person. Um, but I got him some burgers. These are actually low fat, or lower fat, but they're also lower carb. So I could actually have, might have some of these for tea. Um, they're 1.1 carb each, which is pretty good. The regular ones, the non-reduced fat ones, are actually, I think, two and a half, a double. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but there you go. So I've got, we've got burgers, so maybe I'll leave them for him. Um, I've got in my stir fry pack for when he wants to pad out his stir fries and some scampi, loads of chocolate and sweets. <laughs> well, there's a thing, when, when when someone in my life is not very well, I feed them. I, I overfeed them and they so they can they go, please stop feeding me, I can't eat any more food. Paul's been a bit poorly. He's had a bit of a reaction to his vaccine, so um, I feed him and he knows, he just goes with it now. But loads of chocolate, loads of sweets, loads of uh, Jaffa cakes, the best. I miss these. I could eat a whole box in about 15 seconds. Um, buns and things, drugs and stuff. 
um be yourself bubble bath for paul because he's a bubble bath boy bless him i don't have bath because i just i don't know if you're a bigger person i feel like i'm laying like, I feel like i'm coughing i don't like bath so there you go obviously all the pops in the world um yeah and that is it so i'm gonna throw this guy in a slow cooker i think and put all this junk away so little little preparage, um, not much this week again. I'm just going to cook some shredded chicken um, mayo. So I'm going to put this guy in the my slow cooker for like five hours, in some with some water, just a little salt and pepper, um, and that's pretty much it until I pull it out and then I'll shred it up later, and then I'll start adding in some flavours. Again, a little tiny little bit more uh, prep for the week. I'm just going to cook up this tray of bacon and these uh, misshapen bratwurst. I've had them before. They look horrific. But it tastes really nice and they're very low, low carb. I'm also going to boil up some eggs. So I'm going to be making uh, basically boiled egg to go with like the mixed meats um, and some sausages. And then just um, bacon to go in with my chicken. And I'll be saving all of the juices and all the delicious bacon fat to go in with the chicken. I have three beautifully grilled pork chops by the lovely pork. And I'm going to put a little bit of this Nando sauce on it. Well, the all prep is done. I will flip you guys around and show you the little bit of prep I have done this week. So not a very sexy little meal prep, I have to say. Basically got some nice boiled eggs, which I'll have for breakfast. I did make these bratwurst. I kind of nibbled on a few of them, so sorry. There's less than there should be, but whatever. It's fine. Cooked up that chicken, and I've got some stock left over, so I might either freeze it for a recipe later on or just have it in the week to drink. And I've got four portions here of chicken and bacon, mayonnaise, slurry kind of thing. Low salt, but basically very simple. Chicken, bacon... Uh, salt and pepper mayonnaise but i've also put all the bacon grease um from the cooked bacon from the cooker back into it so it's got a really high fat content um i've do this up into four i think maybe it was five i think it's gonna be quite hard for me to eat all this it's gonna be one where i'm gonna have to probably eat it over a couple of meals during the day um there is 950 calories per portion yes because there are 63 grams of fat per portion so this would be great for like an omad you know, one meal a day, keto carnivore. Um, or if you're struggling to get your calories in, like I have been lately, this would be a really, really um, good one. It is going to be very filling, very satisfying, and very rich. Um, and you got, I can put things like chilies in there to spice it up, put some herbs in there as well. So that is going to do me for four dinners next week, very functional meal prep. And that's it, really. I'm going to be having, um, obviously, got those deli meats to have as well. I've also got these, like, pork uh, pork rinds and stuff as well if I feel like I need it. But I think I'm going to be pretty much okay with what I've got here because my appetite is so low now. And that is my very tinky tiny meal prep for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you're doing okay. Let me know how you're getting on below. How's your journey going? What's happening with you? I'll see you guys tomorrow for my weekly weigh-in and update and little chit-chatty thing. Um, and I will also see you in the week for probably a product review, something like that. Have a lovely rest of your weekend, my friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.